Hey everyone, it's Shane, and uh, this video we're going to be going over um, how to uh, secure your site. And mu much more than just securing it, we're, we're, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to um, almost virtually make my sites bulletproof. And um, I'm going to show you um, exactly how to do that. Now, I've done security videos in the past, but uh, I'm going to do the, um, some updates um, and then show you a couple of the things that um, I started doing, okay? So this is going to be how to secure your WordPress site. Okay, so this is just a fresh WordPress. Now, it doesn't matter um, if you are, are starting the security um, on a fresh WordPress or you already have a site that you've built and had for a while and you're just now putting the, uh, um, the uh, security on the site. Now, if, you, if your site is already an established site, it's very important that you have a backup method, a backup system on your site, So, because you want to make sure and take backups of your site before you do any um, security changes to it. Okay, so um, let's get started, and uh, we're going to install a uh, couple of plugins. All this is free, okay, so I'm going to show you how to utilize free, um, free products, free plugins, free software to secure your site. Okay, we're going to be installing uh, four to five plugins. Okay, um, this is going to be just a plug-in set that's going to secure your site. So let's get started. Now I know most of you you know how to install plugins, so I'm not going to go over actually um, installing the plugin. I'm just going to tell you what plugin to install, and then after we install the plugins, then I'll show you how to set everything up to so that it, it secures your WordPress site. Okay. So the first plugin we're going to install is WordFence. And um, this is a, a plugin that I've I've used for quite a while now. It's a very good plugin. So, and uh, if you've gotten any done for your sites from me, you'll see most of them have WordFence installed on them. So, we're going to install WordFence. Okay, so we've got that installed. Now, the le next plugin we're going to install is a uh, CAPTCHA on login um, plugin. Okay, so you can just do a search for uh, login CAPTCHA. The plugin that I like to use is called Captcha on Login. Okay, so we're going to install Captcha on Login. Okay, so we got those two plugins uh, uh, installed and activated. Okay, so we're going to add um, another plugin. Okay, we're going to add a uh, spamming uh, plugin, Stop Spamming. And it's uh, Stop Spamming Comments. Okay, so plugin stop spamming or stop spam comments. We're going to install and activate that plugin. Okay, the next plugin that we're going to install is called stop stop user enumeration. Okay, it's uh, stop user enumeration. You don't need to know exactly what it does, but it's uh, a good plugin to have. So we're going to install and activate that plugin. The next plugin we're going to install is called WP Security Scan. Now it has another name now, but it's the same plugin as WP Security Scan. So you'll do a search for WP Security Scan, and then you will. Uh, we're going to install Acunetix, um, if I pronounce that right, uh, WP Security. And I'm going to put all these plugins um, uh, for you listed. Okay, so we're going to install this plugin and activate it. Okay, now we're going to install the plugin um, that does automatic updates for us. So we're going to install automatic updater and then click uh, search plugins. So what we're going to install is advanced automatic updates. So we're going to install that plugin and activate it. Okay, the next plugin is called Robots Meta. It's a very important plugin. So Robots Meta. So we're going to install and activate that plugin as well. Okay, the next plugin is we're going to install is block bad queries. Okay, block bad queries. So we're going to install and activate this plugin. The last plugin, or one of the last plugins we're going to install is rename login. Okay, so we're going to install rename WP login. So when you activate the WP Rename Login plugin, it automatically takes you to your permalink settings. Now, if you haven't already set your permalinks, you need to set them to post name, okay? And 
scroll down and you're going to see rename WP login. The reason we install this site as, as most of you probably know is that WordPress sites get um, the uh, WP login gets hammered um, by people trying to attack your site or to uh, uh, hack your site. Okay, and um, as soon as they find out you have a WordPress site, and those are things we're going to take care of in a little bit, but they hammer the WP login. So one of the best ways to prevent, um, you know, a botnet attack, um, brute force, is to hide your WP login. Okay, so this plugin doesn't change anything about um, your your the actual uh, PHP files, your WP login. It just intercepts the URL and hides your WP login URL. Okay, so you're going to see a login URL here and in this area you're going to put in a, a special set of characters that you will want to save somewhere like on a notepad so that you will have your um, secure login URL to your site so you put anything in here you like you know so for this example um, I just put master and then a few uh, characters and then log in at the end so just for an example so you're going to put whatever you want in there make sure you you know you have this stuff you have this saved to a, a notepad file or wherever you want to put it okay so you want to make sure and then click save changes after you save changes it's going to give you your login url okay so it's going to put it right up here so you want to make sure and copy this and put it on a notepad or um, even bookmark this uh, particular url okay Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and set the settings for the uh, plugins that we installed to um, really secure your site. Okay, so let's start with our main security plugin, which is WordFence. So we're going to go to WordFence and we're going to go to Options. Okay, so on the WordFence Options page, it's very important that you put an email here um, that you regularly check so that uh, WordFence can send you alerts. You know, WordFence was going to let you know if there's anything um, fishy going on with your site. It's going to let you know, send you an email and say, hey, look, this is a problem. Um, there's, you know, this, somebody's trying to log into your site or a plugin needs updated, theme needs updated. It's going to send you these email alerts. So make sure and put in a good email here that you check every day. Security level. Okay, we're going. This is going to be actually custom. Okay, now the uh, next question is how does WordFence get IP? So what you want to do is just go ahead and check or put the uh, box to where it says try this first. Okay, you don't need to know what all this means, um, but this works. Uh, this will work for you 99% of the time. So you want to just try this first. Okay. Now let's scroll down to the alerts. Okay, so. Um, Depending on what type of site you have, you can leave all this set to um, the default settings. Okay. Um, now, the traffic view, you can leave this. Let's come down to scans to include. I'm going to check all these boxes. These two are for plugins and themes so that the WordFence uh, plugin will check the plugins that you have on your site and make sure that there's nothing going on with them. Same way with the themes. It'll do that for you. Okay. Um, where it says scan files outside of your WordPress installation, um, this is going to be up to you, but if you have more than one uh, WordPress installation within a certain folder, um, it's going to check every uh, WordPress installation. So um, I usually keep this um, unchecked. Um, we're going to check the next uh, box, and we're going to leave the uh, bottom one um, unchecked for right now. Okay, firewall rules. We're going to go ahead and check this box to immediately fake uh, block fake Google crawlers, okay? Now, um, it asks you how to treat Google crawlers. We're going to treat them um, just like any other crawler, okay? Um, either choose that. I wouldn't put a unlimited, okay? Um, obviously, I would put treat Google like any other uh, crawler. You're going to have different opinions on where to set these figures, but I'm just going to show you where I set them. I um, usually set these all to 60, 60 minutes, or 60 per minute. This is my preference, and it usually does uh, pretty well. Okay, now where it says throttle. Over here where it says if a crawler's page is not found, 404s exceed, we're going to block the 404s. Okay, so we're going to block it. Um, if you're getting a lot of 404s, that means that there's people trying to guess uh, URLs of your site, get to things that they shouldn't be getting to. So if they uh, if they get too many requests, we're going to block that. Okay, and then we're going to block this one also. And then the last one. 
Okay, so we're going to block the third and uh, the fifth and sixth um, area here. And then I'm going to select 12 hours for the IP address being blocked. Okay, lock out after how many login failures? I'm going to do three, okay, because um, there shouldn't be anybody else logging in um, for the site anyway. Um, so I'm going to do three. I'm also going to set the password attempts to three. And right here where it says amount of time the user is locked out, I'm going to go ahead and put two days. This will deter most people from even coming back and trying in. Also, you want to make sure and lock out, immediately lock out invalid usernames. And that's for people that um, uh, go to the WP login and trying to log in as, um, you know, an admin login. Um, now, remember, we have, we have hidden the WP login, so we're going to cut down on a lot of that. Okay, so I'm going to check that box. Okay, so that's, um, you can pretty much go down and click on save changes at this point, and that will set your uh, WordFence um, set up the way it should be. Okay, next we're going to go to WP Security, and we're going to go to Settings. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, and check all these boxes. Okay, the only one we're not going to check is we're not going to show the RSS widget on our dashboard. Okay, so we're going to check all these other ones, and then we're going to click on Update Settings. So now when we get those settings updated, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our dashboard in WP Security Dashboard. So it's going to give you a list of things um, and tell you if uh, something needs to be changed or, or it's going to give you uh, uh, just some alerts, okay? So you're going to have most everything in the green status, okay? Um, you may have, if you didn't change, like I didn't change the uh, um, database prefix from WP. Okay, so and you can you have that option to change that when you uh, install um, WordPress. Like we use Soft uh, Softlist to install WordPress, they give you the option of changing the WP database prefix. Okay, but you can see that I didn't do that, and it's letting me know everything else looks good. We're pretty good there. Next, you're going to go to settings and then robots meta. So I'm going to show you what I do usually, um, depending on um, what kind of site. But most of the time, um, I'm going to go ahead and no index the RSS feeds and the. Uh, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to try to have the uh, search result pages um, uh, no index. Okay, um, especially the login and register pages, all admin pages. Um, I want to make sure and do the sub pages, which are probably going to be um, your secure. I mean, uh, your. Um, um, uh, not security, but your um, legal pages. Um, I'm gonna do archive, date-based archives. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave category archives open, tag archives, and I'm going to add a no archive meta tag. Okay, so permalink settings. Normally, you can leave these on. Uh, you don't have to uh, check these boxes. Okay, so we're going to come down to internal no follow settings. We're going to check both these boxes. Okay, we're going to scroll down and we're going to do a no follow on the login and registration links. And we're going to do um, the no follow on comment links. Okay, so we're going to click on save uh, settings here. Okay, so on the advanced automatic updates. Now, where it says update WordPress core automatically, usually I have this checked okay so it'll go ahead and update WordPress for me um, automatically so I don't have to worry about it sometimes I will not check these two because as everyone knows when you're doing updates on plugins and themes you never know what might happen so you you're always um, you know if you have any uh, um, doubt about updating a plugin or this or that you, you know you're always taking a backup before you do it but um, you can set this to update plugins and themes automatically. Okay, so um, I would normally just um, maybe update the plugins, okay, um, depending on what plugins you have. So those are the only things you need to worry about here. And just click on Save Changes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Settings, and then we're going to go to General. And uh, actually, um, that's, that's wrong. What we're going to do is go to um, Users and then go to our Profile. Okay, on our profile, one of the most important things for you to do, um, you have your username, which in this case, we left it to admin, and you always want to make sure and not use admin, okay? Um, now, where it says nickname, you want to make sure and change this. You don't want your nickname to be broadcast out there um, that 
so that it's your um, you don't want your username bro uh, broadcast out there and your nickname by default is the same thing as your username okay so people will see, see your nickname so you need to change that so put it something else okay and um, where it says display name publicly as you're gonna put um, whatever you put here very very important so make sure and do that and then click update okay so we take a look at the other plugins we install we don't need to make any changes to this just uh, um, installing and activating the uh, uh, BBQ plugin that's all you need to do now you don't really need to do anything on the caption login it's already set now remember we've hidden your login page so this right here is going to take care of you know 80 percent of any problems that you could have okay we've we've hit it it's going to be very hard for anybody to find your login page um, once they try a couple times they will quit okay so we got and we also got to stop uh, spam comments we don't need to do anything to that that works automatically so does this plugin so for all your settings that's all of your settings and at this point your site will be um, very very secure um, it's never going to be fully secure, but at this point, doing those things right there are going to deter 90% of any of the hackers that come to your site. And more than likely, you will never have a problem um, with this type of setup. Okay, so I know that's a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.